Hey, Barry here from Over 50 Golf. So glad you're here with us today. Today we're gonna to talk about club face control. Being able to control the direction of that club face at impact so you can get the ball straight, consistently and solidly and help get you, you know, breaking those barriers, taking you from 190 and, and beyond. Uh, what do good players do? Well, they produce a desired result consistently. And why do they do that? Well, they're able to control the club face throughout the golf swing so well. They keep it square coming back, it's square through at impact. They have predictable golf shots. They know where the ball is going. In fact, the great Canadian ball striking legend, Mo Norman, known as one of the straightest and most accurate ball strikers of all time, he talked about that a lot, keeping the club face square throughout the swing. He talked a lot about the business of the golf swing. What's the business of the golf swing, Mo? Well, the business of the golf swing was that takeaway going back. He believed in keeping that club face really square at the start of the swing, having good arm extension, and then really square coming through, having good arm extension coming through for consistent contact. And he was living proof. He hit the ball on the string. He rarely hit the ball offline. Is that pure? Tell us about the business area. What's the business area, Mo? Swing's only three feet long from here to here. That's your business area in this game of golf. It's how you arrive here to here. Make sure you arrive there the way, you, the way you're supposed to, right? 22 inches past, I used to put two tees up and make sure I hit the tees with the blade square. Not. I'm going to show you some really effective drills that you can do to incorporate into your swing, to improve your club face control, improve your arm structure so you're going to have more consistency in the quality of shots. You can practice it at home and you'll be able to take it out on the range. And just a bit of housekeeping before we get started, if you're not a subscriber and you like the video and you like the channel content, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps us to grow our golf community and we love hearing from our subscribers. If there's any swing tips or lessons you wanna see in our video series, please throw it in the comments below and we'll be happy to deal with it as we go along. And let's continue on. What happens with the average golfer? Well, the natural tendency is to manipulate the club with the hands and arms so much. Where you know, I got the club in my hands, I'm trying to hit the ball, right? I'm trying to, oh, release the club face. I'm going to try to lift the ball. And then they get into this scooping action coming through and all kinds of things start to happen. And I'll get students come to me, you know, I can't putt. Well, I can't putt. Well, I'm, typically they're doing a lot of this. They can't chip and pitch the ball. They're doing the same thing and they got this scooping action going on. They got no control over the club face. And the same for their long irons and their driver. They're swinging the golf club and, oh, I'm taking it inside and they're rolling the club face around. And then they're coming in and scooping at it and letting the club head pass their hands. And there's all kinds of stuff going on. And, the, and what happens to the golf ball? The golf ball goes everywhere, right? And the other thing that happens too, when you're overusing your hands and you can't control the club face, you're not able to rotate your body effectively. It's really, really hard to be rotating your body when you've got so much activity going on down with your hands. And that's the other thing good players do so well. They rotate and pivot their body so effectively and they have a consistent sweet sequence of motion regardless of how their golf swing looks. And part of that is they can control the club face and that lends them to being able to rotate and pivot properly for consistency. So the first thing we wanna work on is the arm structure back and forth feeling that consistency in the triangle of the arms going back and forth and maintaining the hand position so that you can control the club face. Really here, I'm gonna extend my arms up in front of me. Take my stance, arms are extended, the upper arms are just touching me and I'm just gonna work on moving the triangle of the arms back and forth and I'm gonna maintain a flat lead wrist. So I don't want this going on. What happens when I do this? It's all over the place and there's no body rotation going on. If I, I work on this triangle, maintaining the triangle of the arms, so well, I'm gonna maintain the triangle of the arms going back, what happens? Well, the lead wrist is straight, arms are comfortably extended, and look what happened to my body. I pivoted and turned naturally. I didn't even have to think about that. I'm starting to rotate and pivot properly on the golf swing because I'm keeping the arms close to me, I'm rotating that triangle around me. My trunk has to turn. My pelvis has to turn to move my arms. Now to come forward, I'm maintaining the triangle of the arms. I'm maintaining the triangle of the arms and look what happens to the body. So I go from here 
to here. I start to unwind naturally from the trail side to the lead side, and I have good arm extension coming through. The wrist is flat. I've got good club face control. So I'm training my arms and body to work together. Do a few minutes of that, just so you can feel that. And then from there, I'm gonna add the golf club, but I'm gonna add the towel, put that underneath my arms here. Again, that helps me keep my arms close and give me the feel for that good arm structure. So I got the towel, put it up underneath my arms here. Got my stance, arms extended. I'm not gonna ground the club. I'm not worried about that just yet. And I'm doing the same thing back and forth. Again, the, the towel underneath the arms just helps reinforce that connection of the arms to the trunk. I'm trying to feel like I'm doing the same thing. I'm not waving the club from down here. I'm moving the triangle of the arms back, the triangle of the arms through. Maintaining this position in that lead wrist, maintaining club face control through there. And don't be afraid to squeeze the club a little bit tight. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff talking about, oh, loose grip and all that. And that tends to lead to too much of this. Put a little bit of live tension into your hands so that you can control that club face. Over there, back and through. You can feel that rhythmical turning back and forth. I'm maintaining the triangle of the arms and I'm controlling the club face. This is gonna be a pretty consistent action. So I do a few of those, do a couple of minutes, arms extended, no club, then do a few minutes with the towel underneath the arms, just back and forth so you can feel that action. And then from there, I'm gonna add the alignment stick. Take my stats. I'm just gonna hang on to the alignment stick here. But what I'm doing now is I'm putting it on my lead hip here. And I'm just gonna work on that first part of the swing, that business part of the swing Mo Norman talked about. The club face square, keeping the arms extended. Here. And the alignment rod stays on that left hip. Back. And then forward, well, I'm coming forward now. The alignment rod stays on that left hip. My arms stay extended, club face is square. I've got good club face control, back and through. Just like that the club down and just let it brush the mat and the ground back and through. There I go, back and through. Again, it's just short swings. Now you can also imagine too, if you have trouble chipping and pitching and you're one of these people that scoops the ball like this all the time and lets the club head pass your hands, what a fantastic drill for you. So not only are you gonna help your short game, which are gonna help your full swing at the same time. Just like that. And then in fact, from there, I can start to hit balls with that little training swing. Now, if you're out on the range, what I recommend is put the ball on a low tee. Start with the ball up on a tee. I've got a little tee here that I'll use. It's easier to have some success, right? And then this way you get more confidence, you relax, and you can focus on the motion and not worry about trying to hit the golf ball. What we're trying to do is ingrain a new motion. We're not worried about the golf ball. The motion takes care of the golf ball. So I'll just get set up here. I've got my shaft stick. I'm just gonna focus on moving the club back and forth, keeping this on my hip. Go back and then through. Nice solid contact. You'll be surprised how solid it is and how straight it goes. And that's what we want. And that's what we want to ingrain over and over and over. Now, if you're stuck at home, can't get out to practice. Well, you know, the other thing I would recommend, get these foam balls. They're great for practicing. You, know, you can pick them up anywhere. They're not very expensive. And you can hit them around the house, you know, and they're not gonna cause any damage, right? They can go all over the place. You're not gonna break anything with them. They just give you some feedback for what you're doing. Get a few of these down on the ground. There we go. I'm just gonna hit a couple now. All right, I'll get set. So I got the foam ball, no big deal. I'm set, back, and through. Trying to do that same action in motion. Back and through. Yeah, really, really simple action. 
helps the takeaway, it helps that striking position coming through. There's no more chicken wing either, right? You've got this beautiful arm extension coming through, flat lead wrists, good solid shots. The ball will start going straighter. You're gonna to start to hit it more consistently. You're gonna keep it in the fairway. You're gonna get more distance without swinging harder. Next thing you know, your scores are starting to drop. Why? Because you're more consistent. You're not hitting the golf ball all over the golf course. Now, another practice drill we can do, you know, Mo and Norman talked about that extension. You know, three feet back, three feet through, and he would use tees or a coin down just to help give him some feedback for what he's doing, just to feel that extension back and forth through the golf ball, which is very important for club face control and solid contact. So I've got my foam balls here down on the ground just to demonstrate. I've got them, I know, 12 inches back and forth on each side of the ball, just to give me some feedback for what I'm doing. I would just start here with some practice swing first and emphasize, get the feel for that club going straighter back and see how low it stays. I'm trying to maintain that extension club face position here. And then coming back through keeping it low again, club face position, arm extension. So the balls kind of give me some feedback and awareness for what I'm doing. So back and through. And then I, you can hit balls doing that too. So if you're in the driving range, you could put a ball there, a ball there, and have your practice ball in the middle, or you could put a couple of tee down here and a tee on the other side. Again, just something for feedback, throw a coin down, anything to give you that feedback back and forth and that awareness of that takeaway and that through position to strike the golf ball. Here, back and through. Again, really helps you with that width and that club face control for consistency. Just hit a few back and forth. You're out on the range. I've done my little bit of practice here. Back and through. You'll be surprised how solid and straight you hit it with such little effort. It's going to be predictable and consistent, which is what we want. And then from there to move to full swings, I go to a full swing practice drill. I get set up in my stance, extend my arms now, but now I put my trail arm in front of my lead arm like that, sort of kind of like a cross-handed position here, and I'm gonna to rotate to the top. So what this does here going back, it helps me keep this arm extended, helps keep this hand in a good position, and back. And look what happens now, I get this nice natural turn, I don't even have to think about the pivot. Just by controlling the arm extension and that club face position with that lead eye hand, back. And then I'm going to come forward. Well, I'm going to rotate forward. I'm thinking about that triangle again coming back and through. Oh, I start to unwind into my lead side naturally. I'm rotating toward the target. Post impact. Look at that position there. Great arm extension, great club face control coming through. You can't help but hit the ball consistently straight when you do that. And I'll do a few of those. And then I'll hit a few. And I'm practicing with my pitching wedge. So you want to practice with a short club. It's easier with the shorter clubs. You're closer to the ball. It's easier to make the swing changes. And then you can work up through the set. And I'll start with just easy swings and some three-quarter swings. I'm not worried about power and speed. I'm worried about changing the motion. I want to work on the technique. The power and speed will come as you improve your technique and you get comfortable with it. Set. Just gonna feel like I'm doing that same practice swing drill. Just focusing on the takeaway, good arm extension there, club face square, same thing coming back through. I'm just gonna hit a couple. Nice, solid, square, consistent contact. We'll go through that routine, do a bit of practice at home, do the drills at home, do that as you prep to get you ready for the range. Incorporate those at the driving range to help you make those swing changes. Controlling that club face, you'll have great club face control. You're going to have a lot more consistency. You're going to hit the ball a lot more solidly, and you'll start to break 190 and 80 and beyond. Barry from Over 50 Golf, and we'll see you again. Let's keep playing golf. Let's keep having some fun. Remember, move better to swing better and play better.